Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm planning on showing you every click on how you can beat the Ottomans as the Byzantines. Um, all playthroughs aren't the same. Um, this strategy works a lot of the time, but it does take a little bit of luck. But I will show you how to do it. So first things first, I deleted this fort. I'm going to combine this fleet. I want to bring my army to Athens. For the estates, we will summon the Diet and take whichever agenda is best for us. Um, the Sea of Mamara, 30% or more trade power. We should get this during the Ottoman War, so I'm going to take it. We are going to take the Religious State and Primacy of the Nobility abilities, or um, Estate Privileges. We're going to take Religious Diplomats. We're going to take Monopoly on Wine. We're going to take Supremacy over the Crown. We're not going to take Land of Commerce, but we will take Patronage of the Arts and the Monopoly on Glass. And then we are going to sell titles and seize land. Uh, we sold. We, we didn't want to take the Diplo privilege so we could sell titles. Um, for the rivals, Caraman, Moldavia, Genoa. I'm going to wait a month and see what happens, because if I can rival Epirus, I would like to, but I don't think it's possible. Uh, we are going to look to boost our relations with Albania and with the Knights. The Knights is because we want to stop them from raiding our coast, so we want to ally them so they don't destroy our economy, and Albania because of Skanderbeg. Um, I'm going to move this trader from Aleppo to Constantinople, so I can use him for hostile trading in a little bit. Uh, we also, before we unpause, we want to build three more infantry. And we also want to build two galleys, one in Athens and one in Constantinople. We can go ahead and mothball this fort because we're not going to use it for the time being. Alright, and then uh, the last major thing to do is to give both of these guys military command. And we'll sim a month. We'll sim to December 11th. Serbia wants to ally me, but I do not want to ally them yet. Seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. So the eleventh of December. Check our rivalry situation again. It is unchanged. So we will rival Moldavia, we will rival Karaman, and we will rival Genoa. I'm not even going to wait for the rest of my units to get here. I'm going to immediately declare this war before they get any allies. A reconquest of Arta. While I'm thinking about it, I'm going to set Athens to supportive. I'm going to tell them to attach to this army, and I'm going to move this army forward. We'll move in these guys as well. This unit, we will... We don't want to sink... Epirus' ships, because we're going to want to use them. What we're going to do with this is we're going to split them in half. We're going to tell half of them to hunt pi pirates in Constantinople. And we're going to tell the other half to hunt pirates in Ragusa. Now, we're doing this so um, our relations with the knights don't get affected when they try and raid our coasts. So I am going to put um, our roller on here. I will allow these guys to attach to here. There we go. So this should be a big win. Oh yeah. So I will... Okay, we do need to get over there, so... For the time being, 
We are going to open this up and we are going to move in. So now that we're in there, we can once again go back to hunting pirates. And now that we're there, we're going to move you back. We're going to move this guy back. We are going to turn down our army maintenance so that we are saving money. Not all the way, just most of the way. I will move these three guys over here, and we are going to build some more galleys. So, for this strategy, you want to have about 24 ready for when you attack the Ottomans. Five diplo power that's not ideal um, I will start building a spy network on these guys and I will turn Constantinople's fort back off and now we're just waiting for the siege to end we do want to keep an eye on our borders. If we see the Ottomans um, filling up our borders, we are going to want to immediately start allying as many countries as possible. Um, I would rather not lose prestige or that. The diplomatic insult against the Ottomans doesn't really matter. I would prefer to get the nobility loyalty up, though. I guess we'll do that. The Ottomans have attacked Olgadir, so both of their armies are moving across. That's actually really fast. I do not like that. That is not ideal for us. Okay, Epirus is done. We will recall one of our diplomats, and we're going to end this war. So, sue for peace. We'll take our core back. We will vassalize what's left of them. I'm going to force religion. I'm going to tell them to give up their claims, and I'm going to end their rivalry and take as much money as possible. All right, so the next step, we are going to ally the knights. So now we don't need to worry about hunting pirates anymore. We will move our fleet up to Constantinople. Well, actually, first, we're going to want them to transport all of our units up to Constantinople. Now I'm just waiting for these last galleys to finish. They are not building a castle here, which is good. A lot of times they'll build a castle here. So when you start the war with them, you want to rush this province to get to it before the castle finishes. So in the meantime, we will ally the Albanians. And now we don't need any other alliances. Um, but what we will do is we'll look we have what seven right now that we can ally um, I'm just checking to see if Imoretti got an heir which they did sometimes Imoretti um, they start without an heir so if they don't have one you can attempt to get them under a PU um, it can cause a war which isn't ideal you do want to make sure you do that 
quickly if you are doing it at all. Oh, I don't think the Ottomans... Oh, the Ottomans are allied to Akio and Lu. And it's just Dolkadir they're at war with. So... This is not an ideal situation, as it could as as ideal of a situation as it could be. Um, I will use one of my diplomats to start improving with countries that are close to allying me. Just looking to see if there's anyone really, really good. I guess I'll improve with. really isn't anyone that's like really really good that I would want. Who are you rival to? Mamlux, Austria, and Poland. Poland's not even close to allying me. Neither is Hungary. I'm allied to their enemy. I guess I'll start improving with Georgia. I'm going to save my other diplomat for when I'm ready to declare war. Um, I will royal marry you while I'm thinking about it. This war is going to end fast. That is not the most ideal war that could have cropped up. Yeah, temporarily as well. I will state that up. Oh, and I can enact strong duchies since I have two subjects. Diplo points, that's good. These guys are all almost finished, so the next step is to hire mercenaries. So you want the free company, you want the Heijuks because they're cheap, and then you want whatever mercenary company has the best siege. So I am very unlucky. I do not have anything above one. So I guess I'll take these guys because they have high... They have high, um, shock. I am going to rival the Ottomans now that I can. haven't started building that castle which is good all right we're gonna set all of their provinces except for this one is vital interest I'm gonna run up and siege this and then I'm gonna call Albania and with the promise of land I will give them Evlonia Uh, the last thing I will consider doing is hiring a, an advisor, but I don't see anyone ideal. Am I one ship short? I think I'm one ship short. I am one ship short, that's not good.
Alright, that war actually ended. So... I'll declare war. I know all their troops are over here. Gelly Bulu. We're going to immediately rush this fort. Like I said, I'm going to rush to siege this down. Um... There we go. So that's that's the big one. Okay, we beat their fleet. So we want to get an admiral. I should have put an admiral in here earlier. Our repair, our ship stay, repair. So at this point, it is your call whether you want to call Albanian or not. You can, it might be helpful if they do manage to get over here. There's a good, there's always a chance they could get access through all of these guys and show up. So our next goal is to full occupy them as fast as possible. Now, I feel fairly confident they won't get across the strait, so I don't mind mothballing Constantinople. will let them unattach. Oh, actually no, I don't want to do that because they'll probably just run straight across there and into a death trap, so. And then it is your call on how long to keep the mercenaries. Um, you don't have to keep them for the entire war because you should be able to siege down their forts fairly fast. My suggestion is to get rid of them pretty much as soon as your forts, you take down their forts. Um, one thing you can do to save some money is you can actually give these, give any fort you capture, where is it, hold on, I'm clicking the wrong buttons, there we go, to Athens, or Epirus, whichever one, and that will save you a little bit of money. Now that I captured a deer name, I am going to go ahead and disband those two mercenary companies. That's our 24th ship, which 
which is good. We have the straits controlled. Um, I don't think... I'm going to get a military access map mode just so I can see... So that's all the Ottomans have access to through, so... At this point we're just waiting for the siege to finish, at which point we will disband our last mercenary company. I will give this over to Athens as well. So, we'll disband these guys. I'm going to unify my army. And I'm going to turn down army maintenance. I still don't have enough trade power here? Wow. I never put them on hostile trading. Okay, never mind. Um, I could... I do not want a, sta a state of statutory rights. Do not want that. So yeah, at this point, uh, they can't cross. Um, I'm not going to try and cross over here because they will crush me. I'm just... And we are waiting to see... How much war score we can get. We have the war goal, so we have ticking war score. We can still get 16 more. I will royal marry my subjects. No, I'll lose 50 inflation would be okay, but Patriarch Authority is really strong. We check our military access. Still no worries from the Ottomans. One thing you want to be really careful about is if whoever they attack over here, like if they attack Kandar, a lot of times Kandar will ally Crimea. So if they're at war with Kandar and Crimea, you have to be worried about Ottoman troops getting stuck up here and black flagged and then coming down here. But this is all it is, you just wait at this point, you are waiting for your war score to tick up. And as soon as you have enough to piece out for what you want, you're going to take it. Because I'm basically going to want to get back... all of my cores I'm going to take these two as well obviously now a deer day you can take it you cannot take it um, some people like to leave it and maybe go for something like that to isolate them over here you can release a Bulgaria um, you can also take one of these two to give yourself access to Kosovo. There's a lot of options, but essentially you're just waiting for your truce to, or your, um, essentially you're, you're just waiting at this point for, um, your war score to take up. And that's all you're doing. I'm going to start improving relations with the Mamluks and the Hungarians because they could be useful in the future. Um, I'll take the liberty, or the um, loyalty to the estates. Their whole fleet is trapped here, so they can't do anything with that. I will take my first technology. I mean, you can try and rush Miltech. They're almost always going to catch up to you fairly fast anyway. So I don't think it's actually worth it.
they still have high enthusiasm, which isn't helping. Um. I will go ahead and devastate their lands too. That should help with the uh, liberty or the um, war exhaustion. Um, I'll take the armed professionalism. Tech. I'll take some admin power, that's nice. Take some diplo power. I will take the stability. We have a call for peace. They're on medium enthusiasm. I guess I could just do that. I don't need to worry about. Okay, so. I can easily take that. Can I get more ticking war score? Not much more. I'm going to immediately start putting a spy network on them. Repay alone. Repay alone. Start improving relations with Austria as well. Renaissance just spawned. That's that's kind of crazy. That's pretty late. I'll repay another loan. That's the maximum war score I can get. Do you guys want out? No. Okay. I mean, I could do that as well.
plus 139 ducats. That sounds good. That's a strong bit of power projection for me. Um, I will take Recover Grease. But there you go. Um, that is all that it takes to beat the Ottomans. I can actually delete this fort. I don't need it. I will keep this one. Having these two forts will be strong. Yeah, actually, I don't. I don't even really need this one because I can just block them from coming across. So we'll get rid of that as well. Hungry. I'm actually really close to allying. My efforts might not even really matter. Some more free, um... Mana power, that's good. But anyway, so, yeah, that's all it takes. So, 1453, um... I don't know the exact date, but I do know 1453 is when the Byzantines actually fell to the Ottomans, so... I'm um, in the same time frame between the game start and when they originally fell, you can easily take down the Ottoman Empire with this strategy. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I will probably continue the series and show you um, how to continue playing once you do your initial war with the Ottomans. But yeah, um, that's how strong you can quickly get. Um, but yeah, so... Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you liked it, subscribe to it. I'd appreciate it. Or subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you like it. Um, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.